Good morning, Coach uh, Nathaniel Olagunju. Uh, we can see you're having a, a preseason warm-up game with Team 360 Football Club. Okay. Uh, what's your take about uh, this game? Uh, having known that uh, this is a, a regular or a familiar foe uh, with you, so what's your take going into this game, sir? We're looking to a very wonderful and good game and a tough match. Because whenever both sides come together, whenever both sides come together, it's always a big challenge. And because of the tactical progress of the two coaches, and that is why we, are, like I told my boys, it's not a friendly game. You shouldn't look at it as a friendly. It's a league match because it's a platform where we have to understand what we want to produce in the league. And we have some couple of new players that we are trying to also give them our philosophy or make them to know our philosophy. So that's why the game is important for us. So uh, we, are, we are looking forward to the uh, upcoming Sule Regional League. What's your expectation? Uh, like never before, I will repeat it. It's one of the best grassroots league now in Nigeria that I know of. And with what we have been doing behind closed doors, kudos to the LOC and other stakeholders. It has been wonderful. And the way it's going, if we continue like this, I think other African nations will come to borrow leave from Nigeria, apart from the North Africans, we can't take that away from them. The Sule League has set a pace as a pace setter, not just to Lagos alone, to other states in the nation. So we're looking forward that all what we are putting in is about the boys. So we're looking for great talents who can represent these nations in the underage tournament of Nigeria national team. Thank you very much, sir. Good Good morning, sir. Uh, this is uh, another friendly game between you and uh, the FC Betel, who are also participating in the Sule Regional League and uh, a familiar team with you. Uh, what's your take going into this match? Uh, actually, like we rightly know, for, uh, FC Betel is a very familiar team which has been engaging Team 360 in so many games in the in the past. We know it's still going to be a normal crack as it used to be in the past, but we are very sure, looking at our last game, which we are able to one by four goes to one, we are very sure and optimistic that we will still come out victorious in this game. Thank you. It's OVA the Creator. Good afternoon, Coach Ola. Is uh, the game ended 2-1 against uh, one of the arch rival uh, FC Betel in this uh, friendly game? Though it's not a competitive game, uh, but uh, uh, what's your take going forward in this game? What 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 do you see in this game? Or is there any, the improvement? The boys winning 4-1 in the last game and coming to play FC Betel winning 2-1 again uh, away, especially. Uh, well, what's your what's your intake about the game? Um, good, 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 good day, sir. Like I said in the in the um, pre-match main, main interview, like like we always know that FC Better is a big team. Like I said, it's always a crack up playing against Team 360. It was a very very good one for my boys. They did so so well. They are really, really coming up to my satisfaction. Coming down from one goal down to defeat an FC Betel by two goals, by two two goals, it's a very, very improvement for for me and my boys. But I believe we still have room to do better than what we we had to good day. We still have the room to do better because we still we still have some lapses in the tactical area, which we we'll still go back to the drawing board and, and work on. But with what I've seen them against by, uh, FC Better today, I think they are good to go in any. They are good to go in, in any competition, especially the Sulu League, which we have actually been preparing for strongly. I be believe they can still champion the Sulu League with what I'm getting from them at present. Uh, Coach uh, Nathaniel, it's uh, a two-one victory for Team 360. Uh, what's your take uh, about this match? What? Uh, what do you what going for? What do you think about this match? I can see a new look 360, the sense of the young chaps' commitment and energy. I cannot take that away from them. They outrun us. 
they are showing us in most of the departments of the game. That was what I was telling my boys. Their, their, their mindset to play and their mobility was admirable from my own side as a coach. I love good football and I love good players when they are giving you joy. Despite their opponent, I can see a lot of, of the runs and the way they pick the ball of the opponent as quick as possible. It's a good one because normally before 360 we would have said, okay, we are going to give them 2-3. But that is not all about football. Now, football is all about what you are playing now, not the old record. So I give it to the 360. I'm going back to the drawing board as a coach to also work on my boys psychologically also because they relax too much, believing that, no, that was what killed us out of, that was kill our joy in the last season, uh, uh, eight, super eight. So, and they are repeating the same thing, it's dangerous. But the good thing we have is that we have one of our striker is back and better, and we are sure of a lot of goals from him. And looking forward, sir, uh, your next game, uh, looking forward, what are you looking uh, up to, sir? In our next game, we, we have decided to do a lot of homework before we play another game, because we've not actually had a chance of working on the boys in our resumption. We've resumed two weeks now, playing three games. I am using the games to put up their to to put them in shape in terms of fitness but not in form. So they need to get their form to complement the fitness, which is what is lacking now. Thank you very much. Make sense, not